Welcome to Kaumudi Global. A shocking news report that emerged on Tuesday said that the National Investigation Agency had handed over to Kerala Police Chief a report which said that at least 873 officers of the Kerala Police have links with the now banned Popular Front of India. But soon after this news started spreading, Kerala Police came up with a post on its official Facebook page in the noon saying that the news is baseless. The purported fake news said officials in the sub-inspector and the station head officer ranks and the civil police personnel are under the scanner of the central agencies and the investigation agency is collecting details of these officers' financial dealings. The report said that the NIA list included officers belonging to the special branch intelligence, law and order wings and those interested with the office works of top Kerala police officers. The primary and serious charge against them is that they leaked sensitive information, including the moves of the state police, especially regarding raids, according to that report. It may be recalled that last February, a civil police officer attached to Karimannur police station in Todupura was terminated from service for allegedly leaking details of RSS leaders to the PFI. Three police personnel, including an SI, were transferred from Munar police station on similar charges. In a big crackdown on the PFI in September, multi-agency teams arrested over 100 PFI leaders and activists in near simultaneous raids in 15 states for allegedly supporting terror activities in the country. The Indian government later imposed a ban on the Popular Front of India and its eight associates, including Rehab India Foundation, All India Imams Council and National Confederation of Human Rights Organization, calling them unlawful associations for their alleged terror activities. It may be noted that in 2016, Kerala Chief Minister Pindrai Vijayan had come down heavily on the Social Democratic Party of India, or SDPI, a political arm of the Popular Friend of India, saying that such organizations were training people to commit murder. Such forces are a danger to the state, Pindrai Vijayan said, replying to an adjournment motion moved by IUML legislator Parakal Abdullah. He was seeking a debate on the murder of a league activist at Kutiyadi in Koriko district at that time. The government had an open mind on the issue. The murder was pre-planned and a thorough investigation was needed, the CM said, adding that the matter should be treated seriously. There are some organizations like SDPI in our state who train people to commit murder. Their aim is not to indulge in any political activity, but to teach how to murder people. Pindrai Vijayan said dauntlessly. We will also look if special investigation team is needed to be con constituted. If there are any laps on the part of police on investigation of the case, strict action will be taken, Pindrai Vijayan said at that time. A few days ago also, in a high-level police meeting, CM Pindrai Vijayan said that several police officers in Kerala have links with goons and communal forces. However, Following the recent raids and arrest of Popular Front activists, the Chief Minister seemed to be very much reserved and tactful in his response over the raid and arrest of Popular Front leaders. Nonetheless, Kerala Chief Minister Pindrai Vijayan termed the violence in Kerala during the recent Hartal called by Popular Front of India a premeditated one and said that the culprits would not be spared. He had said that PFI activists uh, unleashed a premeditated guerrilla strike on Hartal Day on September 23rd, resulting in a huge loss to the state. It is highly condemnable. I am Casey Ashok signing off. Kindly subscribe to our channel Kaumudi Global for more interesting news stories.